Mount Hood volcano warning from geologists. Researchers fear disastrous next year eruption. We know that we've had from the videos that I've been posting concerning the Mendocino fracture zone, we've had a lot of earthquakes there and uh, they're still ongoing. Here you have it, Mendocino. The Blanco fracture zone above it, Juan de Fuca plate. And you see Mount Hood is just in Oregon right there. All these are high threat volcanoes. And uh, we know that from uh, the PNSN, and we'll see that later, we have Mount Hood has had four earthquakes in the last 30 days. But according to Volcano Discovery, we've had a 3.9 magnitude earthquake December 12th. It's a stratovolcano, 11,240 feet high. And uh, Mount Hood, east of uh, Portland, is Oregon's highest peak, one of the most prominent of the Cascade volcanoes. It's probably the only volcano in Oregon which has erupted in historic times. Last confirmed activity, 1865 to 66. A lot of these Cascade volcanoes have erupted in the past 200 years. Andesite, Dacite, Valley, and Lava Domes from the glacially eroded summit complex. The main hazard from Mount Hood are posed by pyroclastic flows and mud flows, lahars, in case of an eruption, which goes very fast, as we know. These would travel downstream riverbeds radiating from the volcano and threatening communities in the area, such as Portland. And uh, this is what uh, the uh, geologists are warning of us, uh, us about. Mount Hood, the volcano in the U.S., could erupt next year. 2022, in an event that would spell disaster, of course, of course, if this happens, because Portland is so close. It's located 50 miles south of Portland, Oregon, part of the Cascade Volcanic Arc, formed by the subduction zone on this area of the West Coast, the Pacific Plate subducting under the North American Plate. And of course, we have all these Mendocino earthquakes also giving rise to earthquakes on the San Andreas. If you see one of my videos, uh, a couple of videos back concerning the earthquake that we had four hours after the three and a half earthquake on Mendocino Fracture Zone. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So the 3.9 on December 12th is not a very small earthquake, as we know. So the um, Pacific Northwest is, uh, it's not only Oregon's highest mountain, but one of the loftiest in the whole of the United States. Modern sources suggest Mount Hood Volcano is around uh, 11,300 feet. But this figure has changed over the years. Crucially, it's considered the Oregon volcano was likely to erupt with the educational channel Underworld, including it as the short documentary about five volcanoes that could erupt in the next year, 2022. Mount Hood erupts again. If it does so, the co it will cause major damage, not just the area directly around it, but to the places that are downstream, as it did last time. Mount Hood is very episodic in how eruptive it is, there have been periods in which many eruptions have happened almost all the time. And we're going to see the GPS on this to see how the movement of this area is going and if it's deforming what's happening there. There's also been periods where for thousands of years nothing has happened. Around one and a half thousand years ago, a lengthy dormant period came to an end, meaning Mount Hood volcano is now considered to be once again active. The narrator says a major eruption at Mount Hood in modern times would be disastrous because of how close it is to Portland, as we know. Scientists believe the most likely Mount Hood eruption would be the collapse of a lava dome that leads to pyroclastic flows. These are the most deadly of all volcanic hazards because they're fast-moving clouds that hurtle down the slope of a volcano full of hot gas and volcanic matter known as tephra. So these flows move at an average speed of 62 miles an hour, but are capable of reaching speeds of 430 miles an hour. So you can't outrun them. While the temperature of the tephra can soar as high as 1,000 degrees Celsius. So the most, for the, main, the most famous example of a pyroclastic flow 
can be um, came during the devastating Mount Vesuvius eruption in Italy of uh, 79 AD, which destroyed the city of Pompeii and uh, settlements Bay of Naples. The context of Mount Hood, several thousand residents would have to be displaced and millions of dollars worth of damage would be done to buildings and other infrastructure. U.S. Geological Survey ranks Mount Hood as the fourth most threatening volcano in the U.S., meaning it's currently being monitored, of course. In early 2021, the USGS reported 45-minute earthquake swarm near the volcano is typically a sign of something to come, but not always the case. Now, the narrator says not only time will tell when the next eruption, of course, will occur. Over the years, experts voice concerns this volcano is not being monitored enough, given the real danger of the eruption. In 2019, a geologist at Portland State University said, I'm all for protecting wilderness, but this is just a question of public safety. And I think letting a helicopter in to put some instruments in that can be the monitor remotely since seems like a pretty minor exception to the wilderness policies. And in an article for New York Times, Shannon Hall, award-winning science journalist, wrote, the volcano is hardly monitored. If scientists miss early warning signs of an eruption, they might not know the volcano is about to blow until it's too late. The United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, meanwhile said, given the well-documented hazards posed by volcanoes, continuous robust monitoring is critical for public safety and hazard mitigation. Early detection of unrest at Mount Hood is particularly critical given the popularity of Mount Hood's backcountry um, areas. So, uh, in the meantime, wildlife conservationists have been resistant to the idea of extra monitoring equipment being deployed in the area, arguing that it could interfere with nature and natural surroundings. Well, the GPS stations are very small. It's like a little briefcase, for goodness sakes. Now, Wilderness Mart Watch, a natural wilderness protection organization, said, the structures will remain in the wilderness for decades, likely requiring repeated uh, motorized intrusions to install and maintaining them over their lifetime, causing significant enduring impact on wilderness character. They only do that once a year, for goodness sakes, just like they do in Yellowstone. This is by Joel Day on uh, Express UK. Let's take a look at the GPS and also Volcano Discovery. We are Volcano Discovery of Mount Hood and uh, 11,240 feet height, stratovolcano. Uh, 2021, December 12th, earthquake 3.9. Okay, an uh, Oregon's highest peak, one of the most prominent Cascade volcanoes, probably the only volcano in Oregon which has erupted in short times. Last eruption, 1865 to 66. We already said that andesite, diacite, lava domes from the glacially eroded summit complex. Main hazard, mine hood, are, are posed by pyroclastic flows and mud flows, lahars, in case of an eruption. And this is the Mount Hood events three a past 30,000 years, what has happened. And this is uh, eruption to volcano Mount Hood. Okay, various eruptions going from uh, about 5,000 BC. Okay, you can see here the uh, mid 1800s were pretty active. Last one was 1907, question mark. So, uh, um, Mount Hood Volcano reported, okay, this is a, an old one, 2002, we're not going to go into that. Now, let's go to the uh, geodesy, and this is Portland, this is Mount Hood, and I'll leave a link below for you for this, you can see all the GPS stations worldwide. This is Mount Hood, let's go to the, there we go, Mount Hood, and we can go in and see the beautiful shape of it. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. And you can see it's full of snow. Okay. And let's go uh, to the uh, map so we can see more clearly. And we'll go to our GPS stations there. Okay, let's take the one 
this one here, YOCR. What's happening here? Okay, it's all over the place. Okay, this is east-west. It's going basically west, although there is right now going east. And this is north-south. It's going south. And it's uh, basically all over the place, up, down, up, and steady. Okay, let's go closer to this area to the north. BRSP. Okay, it's going east, west, west, and what's that? Um, this is basically going uh, south, north, south, steady, and uh, okay, it's not very good. These are not very good, but anyway, let's take this one here to the south. Oh, this is a good one. This is going. Um, southwest and basically seasonal southwest it's going this way let's take this one onto the east area it's got southwest and steady and did we take this one this is increasing this is inflating here southwest and it's inflating that's to the east area. Let's go take this one here. SR, SHRK. Uh, this is going south, west. And uh, it's a little bit inflating here. Okay. And did we take this? What's happening here? It's going southwest and seasonal okay and these are the uh, pnsn mount hood earthquakes let's go here we are the mount hood earthquakes and um what's this one this is today's doesn't give us anything okay um, as you can see okay these are old but they don't have the 3.9 here okay as we sit here this one here was a 3.9 December 12th that's pretty big okay uh, so that's what's happening with Mount Hood all of you on the West Coast please be very careful uh, as we said before we had this earthquake here that gave us a Sacramento 2.5 four hours later on the San Andreas Fault because it affects the San Andreas Fault, this area here. And we have um, Lassen Peak right, right, right on the uh, Walker Lane Fault system right across that. So please be very careful. Again, a wonderful Christmas season with health, happiness, joy, and prosperity, and a strong faith, and a wonderful Happy New Year. Thank you for your support. Please leave your comments. Thank you.